hello good viewers you are highly welcome into this tutorial we are going to be solving this system of equation they have we have x plus y equals 5 and x y equals 5 so what the value of x and y so now from here uh, let me write this x plus y equals 5 is our uh, equation 1 the x y equals 5 is our uh, equation 2 so now from there so now I will start from 2 now from 2 by making one of the variables the subject so let me make x the subject of the formula so x y equals 5 if I should make this x the subject of the formula so this implies that x equals 5 over y right so let me call this equation 3 so now from there so we are going to employ employ 3 in equation 1 right in equation 1 so now employing that is i'm going to accept this or admit this 3 in what in 1 here so therefore here we have x plus y equals 5 that's the equation 1 now i'm going to put this value of x here this is going to be 5 over y plus we have y here then equals 5 okay so now from here what are we going to do here we can see this is a fraction here and that's likely to be a problem so therefore we're going to clear out this fraction y so now to clear this fraction y so let us multiply this equation here by what by the denominator y what is causing the problem so therefore we are going to multiply this by this so now 5 times 5y you can see this y we cancel this y here we have 5 plus then y times y here we're going to have y squared then times here we're going to be having 5y right so now from there the next thing we're going to do is that we are going to rearrange this so that it will be like y squared minus 5y then plus 5 equals 0. So we have this equation that is quadratic what quadratic equation in terms of what in terms of y. So now from here we are going to factorize this. Yes, or we are going to solve this. So now how are we going to solve this let us use quadratic formula now you know that in quadratic formula we need this value a a is the coefficient of the leading uh, variable with the power 2 which is 1 here b is negative 5 and c is the constant term which is a 5 so now to get the value of y you're going to use quadratic formula that say that minus b right plus or minus b square minus 4ac over what over 2a so therefore we are going to be putting these values here into this we have y equals minus minus 5 plus or minus the b is minus 5 all squared minus 4 times a is 1 then c c is 5 divided by 2 times a which is what which is 1 so we are going to have this to be y equals 5 plus or minus this is be 25 then this will be minus 20 then over what over 2 are you following so now from there we have y to be equals 5 plus or minus 25 minus 20 that will give us 5 divided by 2 so therefore we are going to be having the value of y we have y to be equals 5 taking the positive value first root 5 over 2 that should give us y1 and we have y2 here to be equals taking the negative 5 minus root 5 then over what over 2
are you following now so we have y1 and we have y2 so therefore after this the next thing we are going to do is that we need to put the value of y1 and y2 in any of the equation up there right so therefore what are we going to do so now let me take equation one from equation one that state that x plus y equals five so now since i have y1 here i can now name this to be x1 plus y1 equals five that is if i'm looking for y1 from here what i will be looking what i'll be getting is x1 so i need x1 equals five minus y1 right so now from there we have x1 equals five minus the y1 here is what the y1 is 5 plus root 5 over 2 5 plus root 5 over 2 now let me simplify this further simplifying this further this can be written as over 1 so therefore i'm going to be having the lcm to be 2 then 2 times 5 we have 10 minus then 2 into that is 1 but don't forget to put this parentheses 5 plus root 5 because this negative will affect both 5 and root 5 here. So we have x1 equals 10 minus 5 minus times this. We have minus root 5. Right. Then over what? Over 2. Sorry. This is what we have. 10 minus. That is this 2 here. Divide by 2. That is what? 1. Then we multiply we have this. 1 times 5 plus this. So I said you must put this negative sign there. Okay, because it will affect both 5 and root 5. So now minus 5 times this, we have this. Then minus times this, we have this. So we have our x1 to be equals 10 minus 5. That will give us 5 minus root 5 over what? Over 2. So therefore here, we have the first point of the solution to be x1 comma y1 so with the are equivalent to we have these two 5 minus root 5 over 2 and 5 plus root 5 over 2 that's the first point which is our first you know solution so now the next one is that we're going to put similarly Similarly, we're going to what put y2 in equation 1 again. So now we have x2 plus y2 equals 5. That is, since we are putting in y2, the value of x we'll be getting is now x2. That is the second value of x. So now from here, we're going to have x2 equals 5 minus y2 then we have x2 equals 5 minus the y2 that we got is what is 5 minus 5 minus root 5 then over what over 2 so now from here we solve this further this can be over 1 then 1 times this we have 2 2 times this we have 10 minus open the bracket 5 minus root 5 equals x2 right so we have x2 equals now here we have 10 minus 5 plus root 5 then over what over 2 right so we have x2 equals 10 minus 5 that is what 5 plus root 5 over 2 are you getting it now so this is our x2 so therefore here we have the second point which is x2 comma y2 so we have the second one so therefore we are going to be having two set of what of solutions we have x1 y1 here and we have the second one here x2 y2 and that is the solution to the problem if you find this class very interesting so do not hesitate to share this class to your colleagues so they can benefit from this then subscribe to our youtube channel so that you can see.
uh, hit on the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime we upload the new content. Thank you. Bye-bye.